you might just recognize this truck right here. Well, I went out and bought a Super 6 Ford myself, an F-350 Lariat with uh, a lot more wheels and suspension added on. The bed of the truck is insane too, it's even got a gooseneck hitch on there. The numbers were very big on it, there was a lot of zeros at the end, but uh, who could deny this kind of truck? It's even got the super antennas on it, so that's sweet. Well, you guys are here to check out the brand new supercar garage. Obviously, we're going to need a couple of new cars to put in that new garage. Always like to have a new car smell in a new car shop. So we got the trailer pulled out. We have the forklift here. So check this out real quick. I can lift up the trailer, and we can back this thing down the driveway. This is really handy when we're towing it around the place. We're at our Texas ranch right now, and that's where we're going to be building this shop. It's going to be really cool, guys. And if you guys would help me out by hitting the like button, I would appreciate that a ton, and it would make my day. I know you guys have been wanting a live stream, so let's see if we can hit 4K likes on this video. You guys can do it. I know you can. We'll put this trailer right about there. All right, go ahead and lower this thing down back out. It's even got the little ball hitch on the top. Let's go ahead and put this in the driveway again. Oh, almost just took out that light bulb. Yeehaw. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Come on, boy. Yep, there we go. Alright, this thing gets a little tippy. It's got the duels on it. The boom on this thing is uh, insanely tall, so it gets heavy. Even the duels can't stop it. Well, anyways, we're going to come back for the trailer because we're going to pick up a brand new boat. That's right, we decided to buy a boat for the new ranch. Check out this custom driveway. It's pretty sweet. We're going to pick up the new boat. It's down at the campsite and uh, basically wanted to get a replica of the one we have down in Florida. And we want to have in Texas here too. So that's the plan. We're going to pick this thing up. I heard it's got 450R Mercs on it. Mercury Marine made it and uh, it's a pretty nice engine. I'd say we got four of them on the back. And I wanted to share some news with you guys. If you guys know the outboard brand, they create motors for boats. Mercury Outboards just came out with a 600 horsepower outboard. The thing is a V12. Yeah, not a V6, not a V8, a V12, that's right. It is insane, I saw pictures on it, it's uh, about as tall as like a normal sized guy. I'm really interested in that kind of stuff with the marine motors, uh, 600 horsepower, so if you put four of those on a boat, that's 2400 horsepower right there. The showcase for that motor was yesterday, I'm pretty sure they put it on like a Viking Yachts Valhalla. There we go, gates open and we almost just took it out there. This is a catamaran boat, so that means it's got two gunnels on the back side of it. All right, this truck is pretty sweet. The red tone kind of goes along with the boat. I think we have a salmon pink or a salmon color on it. Get everything hooked up. All right, and this thing is insanely big. When we tow this thing down the road, it's pretty big. It's not quite an oversized load yet. That gets into, like, the mega yachts and stuff. All right, make sure the straps are all good here. There we go. Got one running through there, one through here. We got a $40,000 stereo on this one, too. We're just hauling this back to the ranch before we head on over to the supercar garage. The new cars we're picking up for the garage are uh, just down the street from it. So we'll head into town after we get this boat dropped off. That's the plan. We'll back this in the back driveway. We might even be able to use the forklift. I'm not sure how strong that thing is. Probably not strong enough to push the thing back there. But uh, we'll give it a shot, man. It's pretty possible. If you guys aren't subscribed and you do enjoy these videos, consider subscribing because you won't miss out on the next time I post. You get early access to giveaways and streams and other cool stuff. All right, don't hit the trailer. Let's just go ahead and uh, putz along back here. Now, here's where I'm talking about we need the forklift. That thing is a little machine, but the thing is a base at the same time. So what we do is we just hook up to right here. Let's go ahead and get everything unraveled here. Yeah, winch it up. All right, the winch is good, secured. Pull the truck forward. Now let's grab the Manitou forklift with the hitch on it. All right, we're ready to get this trailer. We'll just back it in really quick, and then we'll be on our way. I wanted to get this done really quick. We had to get this boat over here. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Now watch this. See, watch the pointing turn on that. Look at that. Precision right there, boys. All right, we got a gravel pad all perfect and made for it. Up, down, ravel it up, and look at that. That's perfect. All right, you're not here to watch me play with the forklift. Now we're going to head to the supercar garage. Time to get down to business. Check out the place. I heard we got custom signs and some other sweet stuff in the shop. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to do a full tour on it. All right. Diamond C is hooked up. We're uh, ready to move here. Let's go ahead towards the city. And I really love this driveway. You guys may remember it from the ranch in Estancia. Apacho from FS17, but it's got the new modern house on it. Cool vibe, you know, like you're in the jungle forest or just something uh, pretty special, I guess. You feel welcomed, I'll tell you that much. And then we gotta close the gates behind us. Well, I guess Leonardo the butler didn't grease him up. Now they're not swinging back and forth. All right, not good. We need to fix those. Those gates uh, protect us from getting robbed. And also, if we get in a car accident with this thing, dude, those Subarus are going down. That's one point for us and zero for them. You're not playing Rocket League. Stop. Ian, come here, boy. I'm sorry, the Subarus are too distracting. It looks like a soccer ball. Move out of the way. Now time to get down to business and roll some coal. It just depends. One, two, three. 
I can't wait to check out the place. It's going to be cool, guys. So make sure you do stick around after we pick up these cars. And uh, I heard we got some marble floors in it. So we'll have to see what those look like. No cop, no stop, boys. This is uh, my city. I actually own it. Rebellion Customs. Oh, come on, Thurn. That's where we actually bought the truck from. So, all right, we're pulling in left here. Okay, don't hit the guy. Don't hit the guy. Uh, we hit the guy. Drop the ramps while moving. That's how you do it. Now. The finest vehicles we have in our mods folder at the moment are these two bad boys. I'm pretty sure they're the finest cars in the game anyway, so uh, we do have exclusive access to these boys. We have the SVJ Convertible. Uh, this is an Aventador model. Pretty cool car. Got the custom rims on it. And we got the good stuff. The Ferrari Stradale SF90. Okay, I need to work on my French Stradale. Okay, there we go. Better. Alright, let's load these things up. We got the ramps down. Good, alright. Load it up. Okay, yeah, got that one strapped down. Now we gotta get the Ferrari here. Now, this one has a couple of stuff. Let's go ahead and look through it before we uh, head over to the shop. They got a front trunk here. Uh, lots of space up there. Not really, but kind of. For a supercar, I would say it's a lot of space. Back here, we have access to the motor. We got a twin turbo. We got some turp skis in that, boy, if you know what I mean. All right, and then we got uh, opening doors here. Both sides. So this is what the car looks like all opened up. Let's go ahead and turn it down in three, two, one. Perfecto. Alright, time to load up the Ferrari, boys. Yes, sir. I love this car. It's got some pretty cool specs on it. The lines and design of the car are amazing as well. Take a look at the top of the hood. Look at all the different curves and angles Ferrari uses. Keeps it aerodynamic and fast. In America, we drive over to lawn, boys. <laughs> oh, gosh. If you've ever seen that TikTok when they're like, in uh, England, we drive on the left side of the road. <laughs> Gotta drive through the pavement, boy. I don't care. Time to roll east, boys, and we're going to check out the shop. Now it is pretty small for what we're getting for it. It's uh, 800 grand. Yeah, I know I may have got ripped off on this one, but uh, it was well worth it. Judging from the pictures, we haven't even checked out it. I think it's up here. We're going to hang a left. We own the boat ramp next door. Yeah, that's a boat ramp for sure. And an automatic gate. So this is the shop right here. It's pretty cool. It's like a nice exterior. It's got the plain white and then it's got the black doors. They call them the midnight doors. So those are cool. Before we get the cars unloaded, let's go ahead, pop the doors open. So check that out real quick, the galaxy doors, and they actually just squeeze up into one little thing instead of going through the roof or going on rollers, keeps it more modern and clean. But as we walk in guys, it's pretty cool. Flip the light switch on, we can get a better glimpse at it, there we go. Nice overhead LEDs, they really light up the floor which is custom marble. Imported from Jerusalem. It's uh pretty custom as well We're working on it for a week and a half So obviously it just took more time than usual than normal tile would take so there we got the door on the back side cool leaf plants These things look uh, really cool in the shop I don't know why we need to start adding these to all of our different shops We have and for the most custom feature of them all I have the five signs We have Ferrari Maserati BMW Lamborghini and the good old Bugatti. We love those brands all great I don't buy too many BMWs, but the rest I can uh, I can say that for. Custom toolboxes as well. We got quartz countertops here. Got a door going out back with an ocean front view here. So we can launch our boat next door too. Like I was saying, I bought the land here for the boat ramp. We can launch our Freeman 47 footer and uh, it worked out pretty good. So great shop. Let's go ahead and unload the cars real quick. All right, back this one off and we'll put this one over here above the Ferrari sign. Look at that, we got the Ferrari sign there, and we got the Ferrari sign there. Good American. Also, guys, I do have surprises for the Tesla dealership, so you guys should stay tuned for the Tesla series to continue on. We have more content to come with that. We're recovering from the robbery. I already got one in mind, and we're going to be going that, I think, in the next week or so. We should be relaunching that series, so that'd be pretty cool. Well, you guys may see we got the elevated dealership over here, and they have a huge parking lot. So we're going to be splitting the parking lot in half, and we're going to be using this side of it all of this nice concrete it's a pretty cool tar color he's got a custom server shop back there so he says if we ever need tune-ups or anything even if it's a supercar he can do it had a fun day touring it getting some work done got the boat back to the ranch got some supercars over here and we'll maybe have to get some other cars like a bugatti in there maybe load this place up a more thanks guys for watching this video you guys are awesome you're killing it with the videos hit the like button again if you want to see me live stream soon and uh maybe i'll do it 4k likes you can do it boys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one